chaotic scenes at the funeral service for Pablo Escobar. Drug trafficker, billionaire, killer, but a hero to thousands in his home city of Medellin. The guns that surrounded him in life surrounded him in death, though brandished now by the military that hunted and shot him. His mother and family grieved at the open coffin. It was a careless telephone call to his wife and two children on his 44th birthday that betrayed his hiding place. His wife, who'd unsuccessfully sought asylum in Germany this week, had to flee the church, protected by more than a dozen heavily armed men. Escobar, who had the blood of hundreds on his hands, died almost defenseless, trying to escape across a rooftop. He'd been shot repeatedly by troops who had surrounded the two-story house. The authorities say they tracked him with electronic equipment, programmed to recognize his voice on the telephone, equipment supplied by the United States. The Colombian president says the killing is a massive step towards ending the drug trade. This killing is the biggest single blow to international drug trafficking in a decade. But it does not mean that fewer drugs will find their way onto the streets of Britain and America. Authorities expect other drug cartels will simply take over Escobar's business. The king may be dead, the cocaine trade is not.